What you call an icon living? Start a record label, Misfits just did it. Whoa. Nylon, couple five minutes. Whoa, we are too hot in the biz. All right, hello, y'all. So, if you're watching this, you've seen that I'm in Barbados living here. Yeah, it's official. All right, so I made this video because I know I'm gonna get a bunch of questions about why I decided to do it. And yeah, what's the deal? How's my first week then? I'm actually in Independence Square. All right, so if you wanna hear how everything's been going, definitely stay tuned. So let's start off with why I even came to Barbados. So this has been on the bucket list for a minute. Like honestly, my parents are from St. Kitts and Nevis. In addition to loving the Caribbean, loving palm trees and loving the vibe of it, I just really had this urge to experience the closest thing to what they experienced growing up. And so thus birth the whole concept. Now, when I went to Barbados initially in July, like, oh no, I haven't updated you guys. So basically I wanted to go to Jamaica, but I felt very clearly that God was saying no, um, which was like so conflicting and weird. I had to cancel a trip with some friends that I was going with. Uh, but long story short, I ended up in Barbados. And when I came back, God was like, all right, Barbados is it. January is when you're leaving. So I was like, say no more, Jesus. So I started making plans for moving and here we are in January, I am here. So what am I looking to accomplish while I'm here? I am looking to do a recharge creatively. I'm also looking to do a very deep cultural dive. I know that Bayesian culture is not my culture, but we have a lot of similarities. And so I view this as the first step, basically. All right, so how's the first week been? Y'all ready to see? Watch. So the first week, I'm gonna make individual videos on all of these things, but right off the bat, I will say that it is expensive to live in Barbados. Very expensive. I was quite depressed by the pricing for groceries. Like, y'all, some of the prices are insane. And I'm gonna like pop in some here and you'll be able to check them out and see, but my gosh. I wanna shout out though, Danielle and Sabrina because they definitely gave me some direction. <laughs> they took me to Price Mart, which is like a Costco. You need the card in order to be able to go. And I was able to get some things there. That was a little pretty penny as well. And I wasn't even done. I think I spent $200 and I didn't even get everything that I needed. Massey apparently is the most expensive one. So, about two days ago, I got my butt up early, went to Popular Supermarket, and that one was the one that felt the best. Like, the pricing is cheaper there. Apparently, a lot of people don't like shopping here because you have to wait in line, you have to go at like, times that aren't peak times that's like the best way to do it basically but I don't mind if I'm gonna save money like I really don't mind doing that so that's a little catch up there now for fun what did I do those same girls that I mentioned what up Danielle what up Sabrina Sabrina's a fellow youtuber you'll definitely see her in my upcoming videos um, Bayesian lifestyle check out her YouTube channel if you want to get information on all the best things to do from a local perspective we went out to Worthing Square, I think it's called, and that was pretty dope because it was just like a bunch of um, stands, like food stands and stuff like that, and like a place where people gather together and just eat, and yeah, it was cool. It was just chill. Like, I love just anywhere I can go and just like see a bunch of locals and hang out and eat food. Y'all know I love to eat food. One of my friends took me out to Mojo's. I appreciate you, and so it was a great time to try some additional food and that's like a place a lot of people like to hang out so that was great my favorite stop though this week definitely had to be my first experience on a catamaran i had so much fun <laughs> i met some fun people they um have problems but you know i love my people who have problems because i got problems too a catamaran for those who know i think i'm gonna get this right is basically a boat where there's like larger groups of people and uh, you can lay it on the front and like soak in the sun and watch the water there's also almost always premium top shelf liquor and also food to eat uh, as well as music and just a really really good time so I had an awesome awesome time oh you can also do like water sports and go and do water activities I should say it just depends on the catamaran that you're you're with so that was really fun every time I come to well 
Every time I spoke to someone about Barbados, they were always talking about how you have to do a catamaran, you have to do one. And now I would say I understand. It just gives you the full like experience where you're like, yo, I was really on an island. So shout out to Chef Craig for hosting that event and having me. Shout out to Danielle for inviting me. I appreciate it. Um, shout out to all his friends that so kindly welcomed me. I appreciate y'all too. I just had a really awesome, great time. Ate great food. His food is great. Shout out to you, sir. I went in the water. Philip, thanks for getting me in the water. Appreciate you, sir. And yeah, it was just a really good time. So all in all, I would say those were the highlights of my first week. But honestly, to sum it up, it was like a lot of getting situated. And I will say I'm not like staying here forever. I'm staying here for four months. So, you know, this is my opportunity to experience what it's like living in the Caribbean. So if you want to stay up on the journey, follow me on Instagram, heyachazzy.com. And then definitely make sure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because I'm going to be keeping y'all posted on everything, all right? I'm going to tell y'all the best places to go that I discover, my experiences, prep you for it. And this will be the American black expat experience in Barbados from Chazine's perspective, all right? If you like this video, you know what to do. Watch the video up there, all right? Catch y'all later.